welcome back welcome back guys this is going to be part b admin stuff for the unit 11 paper so it, again it tells us exactly what we should name our stuff here i don't even remember what i did for part a i think i made up a random name so what i'm going to do is go back to my folder and copy and paste that one and simply change the names but here it gives you an example so let me zoom in because i didn't do a powerpoint for this it says so example if your name is joshua smith with registration number f180542 and center number 12345 this is how you create your folder because they tell us first the center number first and the center number in this instance is 12345 so that's why this comes first then we have underscore don't leave out the underscore please registration number which in this case is going to be f180542 that's what we have next the registration number then underscore again and this person's surname is smith so if your surname is ferguson i think that's what i had before put ferguson and then underscore the first letter of first name i think i said my name was king boss ferguson so underscore k for me but this person is um joshua smith so it's going to be underscore j for them then underscore again and the last thing you do is U11B, so Unit 11 Part B, that's what it tells them. I'm going to go to my folder now and create this folder here and make sure I have all the same details. So here I go, I'm in my Part A folder, but what I'm going to do is be lazy and you can do this as well. If you are 100% sure that you've created your Part A folder correctly, I would simply copy that name. Copy that name and then change the B at the end, that's it. So I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to show more options. This is Windows 11, but this is what you should see on Windows 10. I'm going to go down to rename. And when I rename, I can highlight all of this and then I can copy it. I can right click on it and I can copy that name. Now I have my Part B stuff in a slightly different folder, but I'm going to go back, go to my Part B folder and I'm going to right click on here. I'm going to go to new. Actually, let me go to show more options so everyone sees what the Windows 10 version would look like. So this is what the Windows 10 version would look like. You right click. You go to new, you go to folder still. When that folder comes up, see it comes up with the name new folder. I'm going to delete that name. I'm going to right click into that blank space where the cursor is clicking, um, flashing, sorry. Right click and I'm going to do paste. When I do paste, the only thing I have to change at this point is that last letter on the end where I have U11A. I'm going to simply change that A to a B, an uppercase B, of course. Press enter and I'm done. That's it. So my folder is created now. And the next thing I'm going to do is go in and make these files. Remember, I showed you guys before that you need to export your Word documents or your RTF files as PDFs. I'm going to show how to do both methods now quickly. So if I go back to my folder, I have my forensic analysis as my activity four, I believe. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's leave it at that. I'm going to double click on that. And it tells me the name to save it as on the exam paper, which should be activity four incident analysis then your registration number surname and all of that stuff right so let me go there first let me go to my document sorry i'm going to go to file i'm going to go to export i'm going to go to create pdf stroke xps and i'm going to choose the location now luckily for me it's already in the location i want it to be so all i need to do now is make sure i have the names correct so i'm going to go back to my paper so this is the exam paper in my hand essentially and what I'm going to do, I'm going to say uh, activity four underscore incident analysis. So I'm going to say activity four underscore incident, A-N-A-L-Y-S-I-S, -S, in incident analysis underscore again. And my registration number, oh, what was mine again? Lord, I don't remember. Let's just say my registration, let me, you know what, let me use Joshua's registration number. My reg registration number is, um, I think it's F180542. So F F one eight zero five four two something like that. I'm going to do underscore, and then it tells me I need to have my surname, and I believe in the one yesterday I said Ferguson. So F E R G U S O N for me, then underscore for me again, and I'm going to say K because I said King Boss yesterday. I'm going to do underscore again, and I believe oh no that's it first letter of first name and that's it. So after the K after the first letter of your first name you don't need anything else. Now, once I've done that, make sure that from this drop down menu here, PDF is selected, make sure it's not XPS. Simply click publish and that's it. Your documents sub um, exported as a PDF. This is probably the easier way to do it, but I'm still going to show the other way. So that's it for the first document. I'm going to go to my second document now. So let's close this Word document here. 
let's go back to my folder and as you can see i have that um that that file i just created right here i'm not going to drag it in yet i'm going to wait until i create both the pdf files and then drag it in so i have management report next um don't worry about the stuff i have in here this is just everything i've done for this activity so let me go back to my paper always always refer to your paper don't don't sit there and think oh i remember what to do no refer to your paper it tells you exactly what to do activity five is going to be security report and the same details again i'm going to go to file i'm going to go to save as this time this is the longer way but i don't know some people might like this way you never know then i'm going to go to this pc uh, it says management report i'm going to enter the name of the file i want in here so again always refer to your exam paper i'm going to be lazy i'm going to copy this part copy it paste it activity five uh, security report my registration number i'm going to use joshua's number again so it's going to be f18 f180542 so f1 f180542 underscore i think it was f u r no f e r g u s o n ferguson and underscore k name it what you should name it for your details now from the drop down list i'm going to select not word document but pdf and when i click save it's going to save it and that's it my document has been saved go to the same folder of where i had the other one because i guess i the word documents in that same folder and that's it you're done to move these into the folder which is what you should 100 percent do click on one of them drag it in click on the other one and drag it into that folder and make sure you go into that folder to double check that it's there and that's it your activity a and b are all finished exported as pdfs in the correct folders finish the exam you you should be given an authentication sheet by the invigilator in the room or your teacher might come and give you one and that should be everything the it guys are at your school should um, copy the files off your user areas um, send it off to pearson and that's it so good luck good luck good luck i hope it goes really well for everyone uh, like share subscribe comment if there's anything you guys want to ask, ask in the comments and I'll try my best to get back to them. But I am currently also working on unit four and unit 19 Internet of Things. And hopefully I can get to start unit, if it's unit 10 cloud collaboration tools, I believe it's that one. Anyways, thank you guys and good luck.